Hey everyone, it's Serge from SN3 Gaming. Today we're going to take a look at the Club Sport steering wheel Formula V 2.5X. This is my wheel that I use for a lot of my road races in, in iRacing. This is more of the, well with the exception of the Mazda series, I still use the I still use the other steering wheel, but for the rest, from D class and above, I go with this wheel, uh, more of the formula style. It's got a short range, shorter range, which will help for for all those turns we take on the road course. <laughs> and it's uh, yeah, it's it's one of it's I believe it's Fanatec's highest ver well one of their mid tier versions of the wheel, and it I use it for Ferrari, the Porsche series. Of course, when I get up to the to the upper the other series, the B class and A classes, I'll I'll use it. Uh, as you can see, there's a ton of buttons, lots of switches, everything you really need. Uh, you wouldn't really need much of a button box for these, with everything that it has over here. And of course, they have encoders you can switch around. Um, this can, of course, change modes. It's a, so in a sense, I, I don't think I would even need a button box or even like, you know, my my stream deck to, to have any more functions. In fact, you know, of course they got two switches, two switches, one joystick here, and then of course the rocker switch, or the funky switch, I think they call it. And yeah, it, it just makes it, it just makes it so much easier. I kind of wish my other wheel the hub that I have with that would had as many options like this. I think, of course, the podium version does. So eventually, that's when I'll I'll upgrade to that one. And of course, you know, you can have things here, options here, here. Uh, I don't use a lot of the buttons, as you can see, because of I drive mostly fixed races. But if I ever want to do the open series races, I've got the options. Like I, I've got just more buttons. Of course, as you see the ones with the A buttons and the RT, this is by default an X. This works on Xbox. It's also PlayStation ready, but it is geared towards Xbox because of all the bun buttons it comes with. And of course, I use my the button um, kit to to have my own customized stuff. Take a look back here. As you can see, it has the pedals. They come default with the magnetic pedal shifters. So you're always getting a really good feel to it. And of course, the the handles are Alcantara. I'll get more into that later because I do have some things I want to say about it. But of course, it is. You can't communicate it with the Fanatec software that it comes with and of course you can now there's all the items that we have you can adjust of course you can feel the vibra there's vibrations on the handles portion of the wheel so not only are you feeling the force feedback but there's going to be some hand handle vibrations you know something that doesn't that's not shown on the on the on the other wheel so this one has a lot more functions to it of course, you know the price is up there too. It is a, it is a four hundred dollar piece of equipment, but you're not needing a, um, you're not needing any additional parts to to install. The only thing you do have to install is the quick release, but the quick release does not come with any additional. It's not an additional price to it. Of course, there is a cheaper version of of this wheel if you want to go. A more affordable route which is the very popular McLaren uh, CSL Elite McLaren version that's $200 but it does not come with a quick release it only you're gonna get the standard release which a lot of people will complain is not the best release it, it's a screw-in release but it never feels as secure as the quick release that it comes with yeah, as you can see, it's this this one. 
you know, yeah, it's it's tool free, but it's it's harder to keep locked. So you'll have to pay an extra hundred dollars to get the the other quick release if you want that one, the one that comes with this. And so with this being two hundred dollars, you're paying an extra hundred dollars for that. So it ends up being three hundred, and you know the one I have is four hundred. So you do the math and make the decision. Of course, there's another version of the wheel I have, the Formula Formula two point five, not the V. And the handle, I can't tell what the difference is on this besides the handles being leather. And again, that's the issue I kind of, I think that's, that's one of the negative issues I have with, with my wheel. I went with the more expensive one, which was $20 more. But the problem I had, I'm kind of not a fan of the Alcantara. Um, after a while of racing, it starts to hurt my hand, even with gloves. Like it starts to, it hurts around my palm and like above my palms. Like I, um, and of course my joints get a little tired, but I'm gonna chalk that up as being old. <laughs> I'm turning 41 in less than a month. So I'm gonna chalk that part as being old, but the rest of the my hand, you know, it just doesn't feel right. And I don't know if it's because I'm not used to driving this t style, but it just, the Alcantara just does not feel like there's any, like it's just like hard as a rock. When the leather, at least on my other wheel and steering wheels in general, if you have like a leather steering wheel, you it's firm, but you still feel a little give to it. Like, you know, you feel a little soft give that, you know, relaxes on your hand. And, you know, it's not anything like memory foam where it's gonna form around your fingers, not like that, but you do feel a little like, give not much but enough to where it's gonna be comfortable for your hand this doesn't feel that way and again I don't know if it's because I'm holding it right because sometimes I'm like I'm holding it with my thumbs or something the way I, I handled it and sometimes I feel like if I if it twists the wrong way it's gonna break my thumb <laughs> so that could be partially me but I honestly wish I got the version with the leather because I think the leather would be a little better I know there's mods you can get you can do like I know there's a company that's pineapple something um, I'll post a link for it later on on this YouTube on my uh, on the description of where you can get the upgrades and I know they offer like leather replacements and something thicker and there's a part of me that's kind of wanting to do that but I'm a little afraid of trying to I did watch boosted media's video on how to modify it how to replace this and there's a lot of screws to remove <laughs> it takes a lot of work to get it done I mean I, I've done stuff like that in the past I used to customize arcade sticks you know uh, arcade fighting sticks I, I have a hoary uh, I have a hoary arcade stick where I replaced all the buttons replaced the art on it and even the sticks and you know it, it was it runs great and it's uh all it is is simple cables you know to replace and you know all that stuff i also created one for my wife out of an out of a wooden cigar box and just plugged in an encoder to it and put in a lot of stuff you know, it made it work for a console it they're they're not Arcade sticks are not easy, are, are not difficult by any means. I mean, this will be more of an upper level to, I think, I think this is a higher level of modification than that. But, you know, I, I can do it. It's just gaining the confidence to, to do that. But for now, I think what I might do is I am going to, I do want to replace my gloves I use for racing because uh, those are not the best gloves. But what I might do is I might get two sets of gloves, one for oval racing and another for that might have some pad, you know, might have padded, might be padded on the palms to use for, for this and see how that goes. But otherwise that's, that's the only real negative I feel. I mean, this, these, these knobs over here f do feel a little, a little too loose. So especially I mean, I don't use them for now, but that may change later. But I know when you're trying to, if you're in the middle of driving and you're doing something, 
you know, you, you have a chance of like going over or under however you want to change it while you're in the middle of something. So I, I could see that happening. But for the meantime, I don't have any any issues with it. And then, um, of course, you can see I put these stickers on here that came with the with the Fanatec uh, button kit for for this part. So if I ever want to do open, I can at least change those. Uh, over here is my ignition and start. Don't know what I'm gonna do with this button yet. And then the my usual exit, the pit button, the VR centering, and the radio. Oh, and of course lights. But again, yeah, like I said, there's there's so much more options. I mean, I use this one for my head movement, and then this one for the black box. That I can do. So so yeah, that that's pretty much it for this. This this will be a short video. I. Well, do I recommend it? I, I do. Uh, you know, the, like I said, there there is a cheaper option if you want to go with the McLaren version, and it's a very popular version. But again, I if you want the quick if you want the quick release that comes with this one, free of charge, uh, with no additional costs, or other or other ones, you're gonna you're gonna pay an extra hundred dollars more. But again, that's up to you. You know, there it's still a, it's still a nice wheel, regardless. I mean, so you you can't go wrong with either one. But if you just want to go all out and just say, hey, you know, this is going to be my only wheel for road racing, Formula One style racing. You know, this is all you need. And again, you don't even need a button box or anything else extra. It's got all the functions you can just put right on here. And uh, I mean, even in my even with my other wheel, I kind of have to use the stream deck for it or a button box or, you know, use, use something else to get everything I need there. Uh, because like I said, on iRacing, I have, I have these functions for brake bias and tires and tear off. And, uh, I'm going to move those to another, another folder eventually, because I want to put more race functions on there. But this will be something I will talk about later because I want, I do want to talk about my stream deck eventually. But that's it for today. Like I said, this is a short one. Well, as short as it can be. Um, my next video I will do thoughts of will actually not be involved in with, with sim racing. It will be my Steam Deck. Because, again, this is a... Um, you know, we are a... It's SN3 Gaming, which means we're, we're more than just sim racing. We're gonna, I mean, I'm more than just that. I, I do other games. You know, you've already seen videos of Final Fantasy XIV... You've already seen the the videos of Elite Dangerous. You know, th there's so much more to me than than just sim racing, and that's why I'm trying to build an audience of you know just people who love games in general. It's just, of course, the main focus is sim racing because there's so much you can do with it, and it's it's fun to watch. So I hope you like and subscribe this to this channel, and and give me a follow on Twitch as well. The link is on the description as well too. Because there, there's a lot more that I'm going to be doing and showing that's not just related to that. I mean, because eventually I'm going to do a thoughts video on my uh, HOTUS setup. Or just my HOTUS in general. Because I, I use these for, for, of course, my flight games. And then, of course, I'm going to do something about my stream deck. And, yeah, there'll be more, other, there'll be more items. You know, I even want to talk about my home console. Discuss about my other, my desktop gaming PC and all this, all those other things. So... Stay tuned to that. Those will be coming along. Of course, POV races will still be continuing. And until then, I will see you guys on the next video. Take care.